Hi there, my name is Jana and I'm a member of the Data School 29 cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the source row number field. There is a new feature available in Tableau Prep starting from version 2023.1. So let's jump right in Tableau Prep and get started. The source row number is a built in field in Tableau Prep that represents the sequential order of rows as they are read from the source data. Tableau Prep reads the source data row by row, and as each row is read, it assigns a row number to the record based on its position in the source data. In all the versions, it could be achieved by creating a calculated field and using order by and row number functions. This field can be referenced and utilized in calculations and transformations within Tableau Prep and is available for Excel and text file types only. The source row number field is generated automatically when you add data source to flow. And you can see the field is crossed because by default it's excluded from the flow. To include it, simply right-click on the field and select Include it. Alternatively, click More Option menu and select Include from here. Let's add the cleaning step to have a look how this field looks like. Value for this field will be regenerated while data refreshed or flow is run. It is important to note that the source row number field is not directly related to any specific field or value in your data. It's purely a sequential identifier assigned to each row during the data reading process. Let's walk through a few examples. Click to add new cleaning step. Row number can be useful if you need to filter out data based on their order. Suppose you want to left only first 100 rows of data. To do that, click more option menu, filters, and select range of values. And specify the range number from 1 to 100. Click done. And now we can see that we have the first 100 rows left. For more advanced filter options, I'd recommend to use the calculation. Click filter values, then specify our row numbers, so row number greater or equal 55. and our source room number less or equal 78. This calculation returned rows from 55 to 78. Click Save and let's have a look. Let's move on to the next example, a new cleaning step. This data set contains product sales information and I want to add a new field that assigns a unique serial number to each product sold based on their order in the data set. Click Create Calculated Field button and give a name of our calculated field such as serial number. And enter the following calculation. I'd like my serial numbers contain for three letters from the category and the row number as well. So let's start from the left function, which returns a specified number of characters starting from the left from our category field is specified. Then three, as we need the first three, plus I'd like to add dash and some zeros. So dash. Let's add three zeros. Plus, now we're about to add our source number field, but as it's numeric field, we need to change the data type by wrapping to the string function. Click Save. And now, you have a new field called serial number that contains a unique serial number assigned to each product sold based on their order in the dataset. 
Depending on your specific requirements, you can use the source row number field to identify gaps, missing values, or duplications. The row number field can act as a common identifier for joining data sets and for any analytical calculations. In Tableau Prep, you need to order the data set. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in using the source row number field to achieve desired operations. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to videos we've suggested by my fellow data schoolers. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.